Terrace TV is definitely one of my favorites from the Samsung lineup. And if you're looking to upgrade your outdoor entertainment, this should be at the top of your list. Hi guys, Justin from Waltz. And today we're in a customer's backyard, not our studio, as you may have noticed. And this is a video that is centered on the practicality and reasoning why you should look at Terrace TVs as an outdoor TV solution. Now we do have a lot to cover, so let's get right into it. Starting off with the fact that this is gonna be a 4K QLED TV. So the QLED TVs that you're used to for your house, it's very similar. However, it's been tweaked and made to be an outdoor TV with things such as 2000 nits of brightness, by the way, which we're gonna talk about in a little bit. Now the Terrace comes with an anti-glare screen, which is gonna be different than the other screens used on the regular lineup. And it's not the same as the mat that you see on the 2022 frame, which by the way, if you haven't already, make sure you go watch that video right here. It's super awesome video. But yeah, so anyway, it's gonna be built a little bit different because it is meant to withstand the elements. So you're gonna have a completely different bezel and it's built into a cage rather than just it's standard panel in a TV. One of the more tedious things when it comes to outdoor entertainment is that you'll find a lot of TVs are rated to be outdoor TVs. However, they don't come with the smart apps that you're used to in your home. This is something that I particularly love about the Terrace is that it comes with the same operating system as the standard QLED TVs in the rest of the lineup. So that's gonna be your Tizen operating system. All your smart apps that you're used to inside, bring them outside, no problem, no questions asked. And for those of you that are wondering, based on that information, yes, it is a smart TV, so you can hook it up to your Amazon Alexa or Google Home. When it comes to the weather rating of this TV and the remote, they have separate weather ratings, but we'll understand why in just a second. So first off, you have to understand that this TV is not meant to go in your pool. It's not an underwater TV, right? This is just an outdoor TV that has an IP55 rating, which will allow it to get wet, allow it to get rained on. You don't have to worry about that kind of thing. And this goes for any angle or side of the TV. So if you get splashed from the side or it rains a little bit from the top down, it really doesn't matter. It's going to stand up to the elements. And of course, matching the TV is gonna come a weatherproof remote. This is gonna be an IP56 rating, so just a little bit more than the TV can actually accidentally drop this into the water up to one meter and you know don't throw this in your pool but if it were to get wet or accidentally dropped into it you're probably going to be fine and it's just an attention to detail as far as the remote goes now i know you might be asking hey why is this not the solar qled remote that we've grown to love so much in all 2021 2022 qled tvs well the reason is is it has to be sealed some way and if you were to do a solar powered remote you wouldn't be able to have that usb slot on the bottom for charging so i mean it makes sense from a practicality standpoint. I minimize my solar QLED charging and it makes sense outdoors, but the batteries are super solid and secure in there. And it just, it has that extra heavy feel that you get from a premium TV remote. And if you, for some reason, lost the remote or you keep misplacing it, it might be a good idea to set up on the SmartThings app, your phone to connect to the Terrace so that you can control it that way as well. Oh, and if you guys are enjoying the video, make sure to leave a like and subscribe. It really does help me out. Now, you heard me mention earlier that this is 2000 nits, which is crazy, but it's really important that we focus on why. Unfortunately, when it comes to outdoor entertainment, a lot of people have come to this conclusion that they can just throw any TV or any cheap TV on the wall and it's gonna look fine because it's just an outdoor TV. And quite frankly, that's not the case. Now, as far as what it looks like when I'm looking at the TV itself, I would compare it to a Q80 from when you're inside of a house. And the reason I'm making that distinction really clear is because the Q80 is about 850 nits of brightness as to where this is 2000. So if you were to take that same Q80 television and put it on the wall out here, it's gonna look half as bright. It's not gonna look the way that you want it to look. And that's why it's so important that you stick with an outdoor specific TV because it's been designed on purpose to withstand the elements and handle the glare and make sure that it's bright enough for you to enjoy it. So yes, there's a major difference between an outdoor TV and a really bright QLED TV. Completely different environments that are designed for and I really, really hope that you consider that.
Terrace is gonna come with 4K AI upscaling, which if you haven't heard of AI upscaling, it stands for artificial intelligence upscaling. And all it's doing is taking a smaller image or video in this case, uh, let's say 1080p and scaling it up to 4K to make it look a lot more crisp. And the way it's doing that is it's actually predicting what those pixels would have been if it was a 4K image. So very cool technology. This is at least a minimum for me when it comes to shopping for TVs. I always look for that. On top of that, it does have an adaptive picture mode, which is gonna help adjust the screen's brightness automatically to whatever the environment needs. So if it's really dark outside, let's say you're watching at night, it's gonna tune the screen to make sure it looks good as where you know you turn it on in the middle of the day, it's also gonna tune the screen and make sure it looks good. And yes, there is a difference and it's hard to notice because it just does such a good job. Um, but you know, just a very good feature to have. Now don't worry guys, I didn't forget about connections. This thing is gonna come with three HDMI ports, one of those being an art and of course an optical for your soundbar, which I don't even think we covered sound, but while we're here, let's talk about it. Soundbar at a minimum is my recommendation. And unless you're gonna be doing hardwired speakers, it's really the go-to solution as far as outdoor audio goes because it is pretty simple. All you have to do is plug in that optical cord or you could use the HDMI arc and just hang it with your TV. It's gonna help make it sound a lot better. And that might sound like the normal thing that everybody would say, but you have to understand with this TV specifically, it is in a weatherproof style cage. So, I mean, you're gonna get muffled audio if you don't have a sound. Bar. And Samsung does make a Terra specific soundbar so that it looks good for you. Oh, and lastly, if you're looking for a full sun model, they do have those. That's going to be the nine versus the seven, which we're looking at today. So if you're looking for a full sun, I would look at the nine because that is going to be different for different scenarios. And I think I pretty much covered everything on the terrace. If you guys have any questions, leave them down in the comments section. As always, if you enjoyed the video, leave a like and subscribe, and we'll see you in the next one. Thank you guys so much for making it to the end of the video. If this is a product that you're interested, make sure to email me at YouTube at Waltz so I can get you a special YouTube discount. If you haven't already, subscribe for more videos like these, and we'll see you in the next one.